All right, everyone, today I wanted to address a gearing related mistake that I've started to see quite a few people start to make. And this is something that I'm going to recommend that you guys do not do because basically it's going to just mean that you spend more gold than you need to for getting the exact same results. And I'm going to just share with you guys the alternative here that I do recommend that you guys do to save yourself some hassle as well as potentially quite a bit of gold, uh, definitely in the realm of the thousands. So let's talk about what this mistake is. And it has to do with when you're in your tier three gear going from that transition from like your chaos dungeon gear to the next step which is going to end up being for a lot of people of course this is going to be like the argos gear and when i say the next step when you end up transferring over your plus 15 chaos dungeon gear you could see that this is at plus 15 it's item level 1370 um, when you transfer this over to like argos gear um, it goes over to plus six but this is going to be also item level 1370 so this has the capacity to get quite a quite a boost in terms of your item level and a lot of people are going through this process of course um, now the big mistake that i'm starting to see people make is they are actually picking uh their argos weapon and i actually want to bring about a point why you want to really consider not ever going with the argos weapon you're going to eventually want to end up getting all of the armors it might take you a few weeks in order to do this but I highly consider that instead of picking the Argos weapon, you actually stick with the uh, Oreha hard mode weapon instead. And there's one really big reason in particular why you want to do this. Now, the first thing I'll mention in case you guys are unaware, the Oreha hard mode gear is the same item level benchmark as Argos gear. You can see that this is at plus six right here. And just like the Argos gear, it's item level 1370 at plus six. So you're not gonna end up losing any item levels from doing this. Now, the other important thing to mention about this is that the big thing about the Argo set, obviously the five set bonus. You don't wanna end up missing out on that. Well, the good news is you don't actually need the weapon in order to end up getting the five set bonus. If you end up getting all five pieces of armor from Argos, you can actually end up without the weapon here and still have all of the effects of the set bonus. So this isn't gonna hold you back in terms of power or uh, stats at all. Now, the main reason why I consider going with the Areha hard mode is um, basically what it actually ends up costing it to craft it. And why this is going to be important is because if you take a look at what it actually costs in order to end up making this gear, um, you're going to need these pieces, which you end up getting from the Areha hard mode dungeon. Doing just one singular run is should be enough to, enough of these pieces here in order to end up getting your weapon done. So, um, you know, just a heads up for that there. Um, the big thing about this, though, is the crafting cost. You can see that it takes 200 gold in order to craft this. Now, the thing is, what you can actually do is when you craft this, it's going to end up rolling a random quality, right? So what you can do is you can then end up, if you're unhappy with the quality, you could end up dismantling. You're going to get all of these pieces back right here, these Areha's Imperians. Um, but you have to end up spending another 200 gold in order to end up rerolling the quality. Now, I wouldn't go too overboard at doing this, but you probably want to end up getting a somewhat reasonable quality roll given how it, you know, it gives you quite a bit of extra damage. You can see there that on my weapon, the bonus effect is additional damage plus 12.9%. So I would re-roll this. My little recommendation here is until you get like a blue quality roll, 70, you know, 70%, 80%. If you have more gold that you want to spend and you want to, you know, min-max this a bit more, you can go even higher. But you want to do this uh, until a reasonable point. You don't want to just go with the first weapon that you end up crafting unless you just get RNG carried like I did and end up getting a decent quality roll on your first one. So... Now, the point being, why you want to pick this one instead of the Argos one is if you actually end up taking a look at both of the Argos gear sets, you can see that the crafting cost for these is 500 gold, whereas the crafting cost for the one from the Areha hard modes is only 200 gold. Remember that you end up getting all of these pieces back. Same thing if you were to use the Argos blood, you would end up getting all of these pieces back. So basically, the only real cost to re-rolling your gear is going to end up being the gold. But considering that you don't end up needing the um, weapon in order to complete the five piece for Argos, um, you know, it's not like you're losing out on any stats by going with the Areha hard mode weapon. You're not losing out on any item levels because the Areha gear shares the same item level brackets as the Argos gear does. 
And the end result is in order to end up re-rolling this, it's gonna just end up costing you 300 gold less. Each time that you try to re-roll this, it costs you 200 versus 500 gold. So you're just spending more money to roll an item that's not gonna give you any benefit in terms of your overall stats or power on your character. So, uh, you know, I highly recommend that you guys consider doing this. If you guys are also start, just starting out on the process of gearing up, um, kind of transitioning from, you know, the Chaos Dungeon uh, tier 3 stuff, you can also end up getting the weapon and your first couple of pieces of the Argos gear, um, you know, in the first week because you get all of the materials for the weapon uh, in the hard mode after just the very first run. And then you can just start working on your Argos armors as you continuously get more of the Argos blood. So... I highly recommend it. I've seen a lot of people out there with the Argos weapon and it just costs you more gold than you need to. So I wanted to kind of put this out there as a little as a little attention video to, to bring some awareness to this and hopefully it helps some of you guys out. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this one though. No reason for it to be any longer. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a quick like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this in the future and feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv salt, or I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again everyone. Take care and until next time.